back. Unreal. Let's kick off this game number three of today's Group A action. It's Volt taking on Joke, and the kick is away from Zane Gonzalez. It's going to be the fullback, Kyle Juszczyk. He will take this ball up to the 27-yard line, and that is where Voltrax will start off with the ball. Let's take a little closer look at Volt, the 22-year-old from Massachusetts. $137,000 in career earnings, $100,000 coming from that club championship win this year. Look at that ladder record, 273-10. and 10. TD, take a look at his abilities. What do you see? The only two words you need to know is human joystick. That ability is incredible. Voltrax, the only guy with it, and he uses it to the best of its abilities. He's going to be in that Oakland Raiders offensive playbook. You know, we saw it all, all year. He's run the same stuff basically all year. You know, you're going to see a lot of those heavy formations with Bo Jackson and that human joystick. On the flip side, the number one seed, 1,900 MCS points this year, 26-year-old Rydell Brito from West New York, New Jersey. Three top fives in the majors this year. He has been Mr. Consistency as we take a look at his abilities. It's those nasty streaks going to work. Yeah, that offensive line stands out. Alex Mack, Colton Miller, Brian O'Neill. You're going to have two nasty streaks. He's going to use them at receiver, try to get some pancake blocks on the DBs. And then on defense, he's going to need these secure tacklers so bad versus that human joystick with Taylor Mays and Justin Reed and in that Oakland Raiders offensive playbook, just like Volterax. But that Miami defense, you know, I want to see what he's going to do now versus Joe, one of the best defensive players we have in the world. I, got, I want to see what he's cooked up for this Volterax human joystick. Let's get this bad boy underway and head inside Pizza Hut Stadium. We got more Group A action. The wheels on the bus are going to go ground and pound in this one. It is run versus run. The clock's going to be moving. So who's going to be able to get the defensive stops in this one? And TD watching Joke in that first game, he had great pass defense. The question here is, does he have run defense to deal with Volt? Yeah, it's a really interesting matchup. I'm excited for this one because Voltrex, like we know, the mad scientist, this guy cooks his roster up, creates the, the best game plans. But Joke is a scientist in his own right, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So you know he's going to have something prepared. Let's see what happens. There's Bo Jackson taking the carry, only picking up one. The scary part, TD, is you get that one-yard stop on first down, and you get that little bit of confidence. And then the next thing you know, Volt may be running for 70. Yeah, or you might, or you might, you might get him to a fourth down. He's gonna fake punt run on you. I mean, that was incredible. Oh. That play basically won him the game versus Pavin. You know, I, I jumped out of my seat when I saw that. So you never know with Voltrax. This guy's always got something up his sleeve. He's always glitchy. I remember back in Madden 17, he had the little swerve catch glitch when he was passing, and now he's the best runner in Madden 20. So this guy always has something cooked up. Voltrax eighth all time on the MCS money leaders list. Here in his fifth MCS major, second down and nine. For Voltrax in that I formation, he'll give it to Bo Jackson. And Bo's just going to put his head down and try to find some room up the middle. Man, it looked like he got tackled a couple times. He picks up three. That is a tough man to bring down. In that goal line formation, just goes with a straight power dive. All the guys up on the offensive line. Joke playing pretty sound defense right now. I want to see Volter actually you know, get to the outside. Maybe hit him with a little stretch and, and be able to use that human joystick in some space. That's going to be the real test for Joke. Can he make tackles with his secure tackler abilities? And he's got some pretty good goons on defense. Dwight Freeney, Jadavian Cloudy, Frank Clark on the line. Guys like Jerome Baker and Taylor Mays in the box. Tracy Porter at slot corner. These guys are going to be the keys to joke defense because you can't miss tackles on Voltrax. As we saw throughout that first game, you miss one, you're going to pay for it. There's the handoff to Jackson right side. And a couple missed tackles in the middle. You see the reaction from Joke TD. He knows he missed a golden opportunity. He had him, he held him short, but uh, Bo Jackson able to kind of break a tackle, fall forward, get past that first down. You can see the emotion from Joke, very upset. And now Volterax, he's going to take his time. Listen, Volterax, when I played him in the Arizona Club Championship back in October, which was months ago, he's running the exact same stuff he ran then. Oakland tour on offense, all these power formations, and 3-3-5 on defense. So not a lot has changed except his roster, but he, he's so comfortable with it. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's very precise. Joke in MCS 20 live events at 87% win percentage this year. 27 and 4. As the handoff to Volt. Volt giving Bo Jackson another carry. Here's what's crazy, TD. You look at Joke's losses this year. Carry Q, Henry, Drini, Clef. Three of those players are here at the bowl. 
Yeah, that's a who's who list of comp top competitive players. And yeah, Joe, neither of these guys, you know, many losses this year. Volter actually, we know that phenomenal run in the club series. And then Joke, you know, third, fifth, and fifth, respectively, in all three of the first three majors this year. So both, this is a heavyweight battle, man. Both in terms of the players and the players on the field. Look at the heavyweights on the line for Voltrax. Hand off to Bo Jackson, trying to find some room. So we find Joke in a similar situation as he was on the first set of downs. It's a third and five. Can he get the stop this time? He's looking good on defense. You know, that's the thing with Voltrax, though. You kind of get him in like these third and four, third and five situations, and then he'll kind of just squeak by and get that first down. He's very methodical with it, very calculated. He's going to take his time. He's going to he's going to audible around. He's going to get his, his energy back on his players, as you see him doing here. And he's just going to stick to some power football. Now, a lot of people talking about Joke possibly being a favorite coming in, being the number one in the MCS points. But Voltrax is undefeated in salary cap at live events this year with his win at the clubs and his now his first game here at the bowl third down and five and how about joke pressure up the middle big stop right there goes with the power road joke all over it. and now joke being very cautious you got to come out in something yeah he comes out in the quarter three deep because you don't want to go with that fake punt and i think voltrax is going to punt it away as this punt is away and that one's going to go. That's a real nice punt. And, and TD, you know, again, we, we hate bringing it up because I love you. But you played Volt in, in the Arizona Club Championships a couple times. I mean, how tough is he to go against offensively and defensively? so difficult he really is I mean he's so methodical like I said he, you know he knows how to build his team so well that's the thing that really our skills weren't that differently I mean he, obviously he went on to win but the thing that was huge for him in salary cap is he built his team so well my team was so outmatched I had really no chance when it came to the roster uh, decision making and that's where he really destroyed me but yeah I mean he really just knows how to build his team like we said he's the mad scientist out here Voltrax from Williamstown, Massachusetts. Been playing Madden since Madden 16. He said his two most important abilities, no surprise, human joystick with Bo Jackson, but we're going to see on defense here. Troy Palomalu with Lurker. That's probably not going to come quite as much in play against Joke. Yeah, definitely. It's not going to come in play, but I love that ability with that Troy Palomalu, but like we said, yeah, Joke's not going to pass. It, it was big for him against Pavin last game. He got that big pick on the first drive, but he's not going to need it here. He's just going to need a great front seven as he does on this first play, only holding him to two yards. And, and TD, seeing that first game and seeing what Volt did first here with that punt, he said one of his keys was not giving your opponent good field position, a very old-school thought of pinning him deep and letting your defense go to work, and we've seen the punt work for him really well. And here goes the stretch to the outside with those big boys. He's got some uh -oh. space. Uh -oh. Gale. And Run there Gale goes Run. Gale Sayers. Gale and Gale Sayers is in open Run space. We may be in a dome, but we can feel a Gale Force win into the end zone. 95 yards for Joke to take the first lead of the game. What a run to start the game on offense for Joke, following those big boys with Nasty Streak. And he clears the hole. No one touches him. Easy touchdown by Gale Sayers. Ooh, baby, when you let Gale Sayers get to the second level, you can forget about him. And just like that, Joke takes a 7-0 lead. And Ty, you got to think for Joke, that is such a weight off your chest. We take a look at this replay. It's such a weight off your chest to get the first touchdown against a defensive guy like Voltrax. Yeah, beautiful vision right there by Joke. He just followed the big boy, and then Franco Harris also with a nice seal block at fullback, and it was just off to the races. Yeah. Great, great first drive yeah. by Joke. And you can see the confidence building for Joke trying to bottle up this Voltrax rushing attack. That was Jerome Baker on the tackle. Uh, Ty, what a way to start this game. We know it's, it's, it's you know, running, 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 but, man, Joke... Tried the inside run on his first play, goes to the stretch run, and you saw just a great cut back against the grain. Yeah, we knew it was going to be kind of a grinded out type of game, and it's going to be about who can get those big plays off for a touchdown. You know, these guys both bought kickers to the tournament. They want to be able to play defense, run the ball, and kick their field goals. But Joke, getting that huge touchdown, getting seven on the board, is critical in this game. It's Bo Jackson Pop trying to up, find man. something up, up the man. middle. Eight up, carries, man. 22 yards. Doing my quick math Ooh. in the head, and 
That's under three yards per carry for Vold after coming off a 160 plus yard performance against Pavin in round one. End of one, it is seven, nothing joke on top. And so far it feels like TD, Joke's certainly got the momentum. Look, if there was anyone that had a chance at slowing down Volterax's uh, run offense and human joystick, it was Joke. Like we said a million times, this is a top five defensive player. Probably the most consistent guy we have in the MCS this year besides Henry and Boogs. And, I mean, he's showing it uh, right now as uh, Bo breaks a tackle. And that's the thing that Volterax does. He kind of just squeaks by, gets these first downs, and then, boom, all of a sudden he'll break one on you. But then I, I think that the thing that Joke is doing very effectively right now, Ty, is with that human joystick, he's not letting Jackson get into space. And that's really where I think Jackson can victimize you with that human joystick ability. I definitely agree, 100%. And I think, you know, Joke came in knowing he's going to have to play Voltrax. That's why he went with those two secure tackles, as you see there, middle linebacker and strong safety. So those are going to play dividends. He's going to need them to step up against this bow. He brings down Bowie. You know, talking to Volt, asked him, like, you know, how does it feel playing at home versus the main stage at the studio, at the clubs? And he said, you know, he feels like he's always one of the best players online. So, if anything, it's going to help him because he's relaxed all the time. He feels comfortable in his own home. And, and Ty, talking to a lot of these players, it was about split down the middle. A lot, some people saying they're going to feel more comfortable playing at home. Some people saying they might be a little too relaxed playing at home. Yeah, I mean, Volterax is kind of known as that online guy. He's like the online guru. You know, he plays a lot of weekend league. He plays the most games played online. You know, some of these guys like Joke, more of an offline live event uh, experience player. So it's kind of their preference, you know, which one is which. But, yeah, yeah you, we had a balance. And it's, just, it's interesting to see, you know, which one each guy prefers. Yeah, at he said... Volt said he felt the nerves being on stage before the game. I don't know about you, I didn't notice any nerves whatsoever at that club championship. <laughs> yeah, well, like we said, Volter actually, you know, he don't say a lot. He's just a machine, and his bank account's doing all the talking for him after that $100,000 win in the club championship. It's Jackson outside, third and 12, and so far it's been Joke's defense really containing Bo. Fourth and 10, Volt's going to bring back the punt unit. Yeah, and Joke staying in that quarters three deep. Doesn't want to give up any fake punt runs. Very smart. Volt, let's see if he goes with another nice punt. He, Volt is like a punt specialist over here. Another great punt. Uh, special teams matter. Uh, Ty, I think I think he definitely was watching uh, that, that game between Volt and Pav and saw the fake punt pulled out and went, yeah, I don't want any part of that. Yeah, I think that's a benefit, too, for Joke. He kind of got that first win under his belt as he breaks one. But I think I think Joke, yeah, you know, he had the benefit of kind of sitting back, watching Volt and Pavin play, getting that first win under his belt. So now he knows everything that Volt wants to do. Big shout out to everybody out there in the Twitch chat on YouTube and on the ESPN app. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis along with you. Game three of group action. It is Joke and Volt, the two 1 and 0s, facing off here in game number three. Joke back into the I formation, and you see the two big offensive linemen at wide receiver, Lane Johnson and Joe Thomas. As the handoff on first and 10 is to Sayers, and once again, Sayers going to find a little bit of room, picking up four. Look at that stat line so far four for 113. I mean, the, the way Volt is playing defense, he's running that pinch defense, and it can be good run defense, but he's very vulnerable to the outside here. Joe could definitely break one to the outside. He's got to be very careful if you're Volterax on defense. As there's Sayers one more time. And you know, Joe coming into this, two third places and a fifth place finish. Just hasn't been able to, it's crazy to think, not only with three top fives, but TD, he didn't even get to a final this year. And I, I, I think I keep with a little revisionist history going, no, there's he had to have gotten to a final with how good his year has been. Yeah, you would think that. You know, you would think if there's a list of people that you think might have a belt if you don't follow or don't know, just based looking on resumes, you would think Joke would have a belt. I mean, 11 majors, over 170,000 winnings. He's been in finals, final fours. Just insane, but just hasn't got to that finals yet. And another uh -oh. big run here with uh -oh. the uh -oh. There goes Gale again. Oh, wave goodbye. It's a house call for Gale Sayers and a salute 
from Joke as he takes a two-score lead. Joke is putting on a show here in the second matchup of Group A, and he's outmastering the scientist. It's incredible. You would think Joke is Don't the scientist, the way he built his team. He looks he looks like he's outmatching Volterax with that offensive line and that Gale Sayers. Gale Sayers famously tore his ACL and MCL in 1968, forced him to retire in 71, but the knee's looking good here in Pizza Hut Stadium. As let's take a look at our Snickers touchdown replay. A cutback inside and forget about it. Yeah, a little off tackle, cuts back inside and just goes untouched. Uses that protect ball glitch to get that extra speed boost and wow, Joke just looking impressive. And you'd hear Joke saying, you know, one stop, don't get sticky on me, Volt, as Bo Jackson gets his first real nice run of the game. TD, are you surprised at all how this game has gone so far? A little bit, yeah, I'm surprised. You know, I know Joke's a good defensive player, but I didn't think he would have a great answer for this human joystick, and so far he does. But Volt going to uh, push the pace a little bit here, running out of time. He's got to get something going. He's got to get in the open field, make a move with that bow. Bo Jackson, the two-sport athlete, Auburn Tiger, only played four years in the NFL. And talk about an impactful four years in terms of the legacy of Bo Jackson. Second and six, spin move back inside, shy of the line to gain 35 seconds left, timeout taken by Volt. That's exactly what I want to see from Volt. I know he only got like four yards there, but you want to get him in space, have a one-on-one -on -one situation and make a move. I like to see him do that more than the dive here. As he breaks the uh -oh. dive, breaks a tackle. There he's goes go. Bo! 16 oh, touchdowns good. in his career, hit 141 home runs. This counts as both as Volt cuts into Joke's lead. <laughs> What an exciting game for, for two runners. I mean, it's been home run hit after home run hit. Another broken big run right there by Bo Jackson, and Volt gets back into the ball game. Oh, TD, this feels like a 12-round boxing match between two heavyweights. They're throwing jabs, they're throwing crosses, and they're going to go the distance in this one. Oh, man, Volt fighting back. I'm so impressed by both these guys. And now here we go. Can Volt stand up for himself? Let's take a look at this bad boy one more time. Bolt finally getting a little bit of run game going, and it was about time before Bo broke a tackle and Bo broke some hearts. Just bounces off his offensive lineman and kind of gets in the open field, off to the races. Unfortunate break for Joke and a huge run for Volterax. The scary part is I look up at the clock and there's 20 seconds and Joke has the ball and he's running it and I go, we could see another touchdown before halftime. Sayers outside, good block on the edge. Ooh. Joe can't believe he had a lot of room out there. Yeah, bad stick right there. He should have stayed to the outside, got more yards, and got out of bounds. He tried to get too cute right there, and you don't want to make that mistake going up against a guy like Volterax. As Sayers rolling over the tackler, and that looks like it's going to be the final play of the half. It was Joke. Storming out in this one with the Gale Sayers rushing attack, a 14-0 lead, but Volt with such a clutch touchdown before the half, 14 to 7. Uh, TD, I don't I can't really tell right now. Who do you feel like has the momentum? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, this has been an interesting matchup. Both guys, you know, breaking runs, showing their run stick. Uh, it's tough. I mean, Volter has just got that last touchdown, but Joke getting the ball here up seven is definitely a huge advantage. As Franco Harris will take the ball to the 33-yard line, and that is where Joke's offense will start the second half, 14 to seven. Okay. At halftime, man, Joke has been uh, not shy of talking to the camera as we take a look at our segment called Audible at Home. For those watching us on Twitch, remember to keep yourself available for our Twitch drops. Make sure to link your EA account to your Twitch account so you can receive bonuses like a 95 overall Rob Gronkowski, 
Always great to have Gronk on your roster. Just ask the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The 95 overall Gronk is an exclusive Madam Bowl drop reward. I'll take Gronk on my team. Take a look at these top prize winners in the MCS uh, 20. Uh, you want Gronk on your team. You probably want Volt on your team, Ty. $105,000 earned this year. He's been an absolute stud. Yeah, look at that. $105,000 and most of that coming in one tournament. I mean, insane. And you can see Dreeny joke all with uh, nice earnings there. But yeah, that Voltrax, $105,000. Incredible. Let's get back to the second half of action, 14 to 7. I did ask Fold, I said, what did you do with that $100,000? Did you did you get any big purchases? He said, I bought a new fridge for my room. The, the old one was too small. I got a big fridge in there and put the rest away for the future. So I'm, I'm pretty sure Volt TD's got a, a nice little assortment of drinks and snacks at his disposal playing at home. <laughs> Definitely. And if he goes on to win another belt here, he'll have a lot more in that fridge to be able to celebrate with. So he could buy a lot of fridges with $100,000. Yeah, you might see two or three fridges in Volt's room as on second and eight. Joke with Gale Sayers up the middle. Good tackle. Is that Calvin Johnson wrapping up Gale Sayers? Man, this offensive line is insane for Joke. I mean, they're holding every block. It's ma He's making it look so easy. Uh, we didn't see this in the first game versus Bugs. I mean, Bugs played incredible run defense, especially after that first drive. And right now, Joke is doing everything and anything he wants on the ground game. 95, Taron Armstrong. 90, Randall McDavid's, 92, Alex Mack, 91, Will Shields, 96, Lane Johnson. I mean, that is an offensive line of goons. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, Nasty Streak, Brian O'Neill. I mean, you got Alex Mack at center with Identifier. Just incredible. And, that, and I think it's smart. You know, Joke not known for his passing abilities. He can kind of make some mistakes. So the fact that he built his team just to run every play is very conservative, but very smart uh, with his decision making. Yeah, don't forget, Colton Miller, Brian O'Neill, and Joe Thomas also on this team. Eight offensive linemen, all at 90 overall or better. Second and six for Joke. Back in the I formation, there's Joe Thomas, the former Cleveland Brown, Wisconsin Badger in motion, and Sayers looking up the middle. Picks up one, and you start to wonder, Ty, if Volk gets a stop here, does he swing the momentum? Yeah, I think he could. It's a big third and three here. Volt's got to hold him. Let's see what Joe decides to do. He's going to go to that strong close. I would expect maybe an off tackle again. He broke that for a touchdown last time. And he does indeed go off tackle. Good block on the outside. And there goes Sayers. And Sayers is in open space. And Sayers is to the end zone. Joke with that ground and pound attack has blown this game open to a two-score lead. Two off tackles, two untouched touchdowns, another big run for Joke, and he breaks this game open. Incredible. It is important in this COVID-19 world to make sure you're not being touched by defenders. And Gail Sayers, he's out there practicing safety. As a toss back to Calvin Johnson, trying to get some something going on the kickoff to the 28-yard line. Man, take a look at this run one more time, TD. You called it. It was off tackle. Look at that key block to Spring Sayers. And you said it best. Gail Sayers is practicing social distancing like I know everyone at home is. Wow, what a run by Joke. 21-7 and now Volt. You know, he, his team is not built for these situations. He can't pass the ball. He's going to have to break something. He's going to have to do it quickly. Time's against him. Wash your hands. Wear a mask and stay away from Gale Sayers. That's Joke's entire plan. Second and six. It's Bo Jackson left side. He'll pick up a first down to the 39-yard line. And you can see Volt getting Jackson. It's, it's no more those one-yard gains. You're starting to see the four, five-yard gains break out. Yeah, you know, Volt's looking a little better here with his runs. Joke kind of giving up a little more extra yards. You know, those first couple drives, he was dominant, not holding anything. And, and uh, Volt with another dive here. And Bo's getting loose. It's getting a little scary here. I'm having a feeling he's going to break one in a second. Now, talking with Volt about how much his team has changed from back at the clubs when the cap was 875 to now up over 1300, he said every team's going to have 97 plus DBs. Every team is just better. And because of how the patches worked out, the I form tight wide receiver motion doesn't work, which makes different personnel. I mean, just listening to him talk about it, uh, TD, you could see the mad scientist working and how much thought has gone into this run offense. 
This guy definitely knows his stuff. You said it, Nick. I mean, he know he breaks this down to a science. That's why he's that's why he's 100,000 right there. He, he looked like he had a little hole right there. He kind of went to the outside. He should have kept it in. Probably could have kept picked up the first down. Now big third and one. Oh, and Bo has stood up at the line. It's going to be a fourth and short upcoming as Bo Jackson is absolutely leveled at the line to gain. Volt I almost habitually went into the punt, wow. but he goes, no, man, we got to get aggressive here at midfield. Minute to go in the third quarter. There. Here comes Bo, and what a gap shoot from Joke, and a stop for Joke, and he is pumped because he knows he may have, with that stop, locked up a 2-0 record. Wow, play of the game for Joke and Volt with two mistakes in a row. He called a timeout, and then he didn't get the first when he when he hurried up. Wow, that's probably the game right there because now Joke's going to take this out of the third quarter, and he's only and Volt's only going to have two timeouts, so it's going to be very difficult for Volt to come back in this game. Ty, Joke is in position to give Volt tracks right now, and it's far from over, but to give Volt his first salary cap loss in live events this year. He is undefeated so far, and so far Joke has been the dominant player. Yeah, incredible, and we called it coming in. I mean, if there was anyone that was going to slow down this Volt uh, human joystick run attack, it would be Joke, one of the best defensive players we have. Well, three quarters are in the books. And Joke right now is in control. 21-7 to seven behind three Gale Sayers touchdowns and some great defense from Joke. He's been able to stop Volt twice already, and there's your difference. It's a 14-point lead for Joke as we head to our fourth quarter, presented by Creamy Snickers. You're not smooth when you're hungry. Oh, no, no, no pressure. This party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You can use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. 21 to 7 at the start of the fourth quarter. And man, you want to know who has had no lack of smoothness? It's been Gail Sayers. Three touchdowns on the ground. The blocking has been stellar. And. I mean, it's impressive, Ty, to think he's been doing this against Voltrax, who literally has had the best defense in the entire salary cap mode this year. Yeah, 100%. I mean, both these guys built their team the same. No quarterback, great running back, great offensive line, and stacked defense. You know, the difference has kind of been Joke's offensive line is a little bit better and his phenomenal defense versus Volt. Oh, Gale Sayers, listen, we talked about Bo Jackson breaking tackles and able to fall forward. Gale Sayers right there looked pretty good, finding his way through the mess and picks up a first down. 17 rushes for 275 yards. If Joe can play like this every Ooh. game on offense, he is going to be impossible to be. Impossible uh -oh. to be. Hey, hey, you know what's better than three touchdowns? How about four touchdowns on the board for Gale Sayers? And Joe's just getting up. He knows he's got this one locked. He's getting comfy. He's laying down. Look at him stunting for the camera. Show that swagger, young man. Joke opening the floodgates on Volterax, and he's going to let everyone know about it. 28-7, to Joke with a dominant performance here in the second game of Group A. Ty, you think Joke knows when there's a camera on him? <laughs> <laughs> might, might be aware. Might be familiar. Might have located oh, it. Unclear. Stunting, stunting for the camera. 28 to 7. Choke with the run with Gale Sayers. Our first replay of Choke just going to bed, man. He doesn't even need to be in the chair anymore. He's in firm control. He's ready to go to bed. He's saying night, night, good night, Volterax. I'm out of here. And look at that. Another dominant defensive performance. Wow. No, I don't think anyone in the chat, anyone watching this, expected this. Jokes setting his dominance in this group A. Joke's really setting himself up for a, like a Casper Mattress sleep number sponsorship. He's like, listen guys, it's on camera. I'm going to show it off, especially with how dominant he's been. And it hasn't just been the offense, Ty. His defense has locked down Voltrax. Oh, 1,000%. I mean, you can't play any better defense. We saw how good Voltrax looked versus Pavin, and he's going to look good Ooh. right here on this play as well. Let's Ooh. see if one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. 
Look at the tackle there from Reed. Justin Reed, the 23-year-old Houston Texan. Bo Jackson, I mean, we're looking at Bo right now. And uh, what, he's 6'1", 227. And Justin Reed, real discipline bringing him down. Yeah, great tackle right there by Joke. That's why he's got that secure tackler abilities on his safeties. A big tackle right there. It's a big game. Just, uh, Volt needed that earlier in the game. And if you're Joke, you know, you're fine with giving that up. You kept him in bounds. Clock still ticking. you got to get three touchdowns with two and a half minutes. It's going to be very difficult. And you start thinking about tie, as we mentioned, tiebreakers go to point differential against the tied players. And you start to wonder how important is it to Joke to keep this a 21 point point differential because you look at the other teams out there as Jackson with a couple spin moves and Bo knows where to go. He's to the end zone, back to a 15, possibly a 14 point point differential. But if he was able to maybe get a touchdown here and extend that out, you almost feel like he locks himself in for the bye. Yeah, Volt not giving up, though, showing his crazy stick work right there. I mean, this guy, Volt, man, his stick work is off the charts. Watching him is cool, but uh, nice little touchdown right there. He only has that one timeout. Yeah, and if Joke gets this win, goes 2-0, you got to think he's in a great position to get that by going into the playoffs. And now, Volt directs moving to 1-1, one and, one, and then the game coming up between Pavin and Boogs is huge because whoever loses that is going to be 0-2, and they're going to be in a very difficult spot. Listen, I know I've never been in group play in the Madden Bowl. I've never been in group play in anything. But Ty, all I know is 0-2 is not where you want to be. Yeah, group play is a scary place to be, especially when you get to that 0-2. Even when you're at 1-1, one one, you know, you got to win. It's, it's getting tough in that position, so Joke is in a great position. Two-minute warning here at game number three. And speaking of three, how about Gale Sayers with three bills, 308 yards rushing so far as he continues fighting forward to pick up three yards. Third down upcoming, and Ty, those, touch, those timeouts taken by Volt early really makes this a difficult task to come back. Yeah, that, that timeout when he got, right before he got stopped on that fourth down was huge. And Joe's just going to run the ball here, try to get out of here. Ooh, and he falls Ooh. forward. Lucky animation. Wow. And he picks up the first down. Wow. Gail Sayers says, I'm on a mission. I want 400. I don't want 400. I want 500 yards rushing. As he finds the first down, this clock continuing to whittle away. As Joke's going to hand this ball off to Gail Sayers. And there goes Gail Sayers. Can Gail Sayers get to the end zone? He'll get tackled at the 29-yard line. How about 348 on the ground? Unreal. Every time he runs the ball, it seems like he's breaking one. I, Joke, I thought, might have went for a touchdown there to add to his point total, but I think he's just fine with run, getting this game over with and, and kicking his field goal. He doesn't want to give Volt the, the ball back to give him any more chance at points. And how about this? We've seen quite a lot of runners this year, Ty, from the classic to the clubs to here and at the challenge. This is a Madden Bowl record. Most ever rushing yards in a single game. Took down some series' record last year in the Madden Bowl. I mean, how about the performance from Joke? And this was done against Voltrax. Just so impressive. Two heavyweights going at it, and Joke really just said, hey, I'm the leader of Group A. I'm the guy to beat. I'm the favorite. And, man, you can't say anything against him. He did exactly that impressive performance by Joke.